Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Foods UK, uh, foraging again uh, on the 5th of December and we're in Herefordshire and we've just found a, a lovely sea of um, beautiful winter chanterelles. There's one of our lovely winter chanterelles which uh, I'm going to experiment with pickling later on because there's quite a few of them around and we're in amongst pine trees and conifers and spruces that's uh, generally where you'll find winter chanterelles but down here we've got another mushroom I've done another whole video on winter chanterelles so if you want to learn how to ID those look that up but um, here we've got a mushroom that I haven't done a video of before which I consider to be almost as good an edible as the winter chanterelles but far safer. This is one of the safest mushrooms for anyone to identify. Now, that's because it doesn't look much from the top, but if you look under the cap, you'll see there, no gills, no sponge. We've just got spikes. Now that puts this mushroom in the hedgehog fungus family. Uh, there's a few members of the hedgehog fungus family in Britain and there's different subsections, um, but basically for a forager, this is one of the safest mushrooms you can ever ID. Simply put, growing out of the ground with a stem, not out the side of a tree, with spikes under the cap, if it's white or terracotta colored, which is what we've got here, then it's an edible mushroom. You've even either got the common hedgehog fungus or you've got this one, the terracotta hedgehog. Now there are some other members of the family that you don't want to eat, but they're all brown, dark brown on the cap. And you don't want to eat those mainly because some of them are quite rare. There are a few toxic varieties too. But this one and the common hedgehog are both good edibles. The common hedgehog I think is a little bit nicer. That's a, a white version of this that's chunkier and I'll do a video of that at some point for you. Um, that one's sold on French markets as the pied de mouton or sheep's foot. I don't really know where they get sheep's foot from a mushroom that looks like this but we call it the hedgehog fungus which I think is a much more apt name because of the, the spikes under the cap. This one, Hiddenham refescens, is the terracotta hedgehog. The more common one that you'll actually find in shops is the Hiddenham repandum. Um, and what we do with those is uh, after we've foraged them, on our way home, what we do is we jump out of the car in our closest local wood, or either in our garden, even in our garden, and we scrape off these spikes, just like that. You can see making a bit of a mess of it but they do come off quite easily. Now that's because all of the spores that may well grow into new mushrooms are in those spikes and they're a very little culinary value to you. And this is an easy mushroom or an easier mushroom than most to get going in new places because it's not a fussy mushroom. This one will grow in deciduous woodlands as well as uh, this pine wood that we're in here. Um, they're not fussy about the trees that they'll grow with or nowhere near as fussy as most other mushrooms. So this is a lovely little find. And uh, believe me, like I said, if you find a light colored mushroom growing out the ground with a stem, and spikes under the cap, then you have an edible mushroom. So, time to go out and find some for yourself. Uh, and if you wanna find out more, go to www.wildfooduk.com.